In this video, we're going to explain you how the overclocker rankings work at HWBot. To do so, let's first check out the overclocker rankings. We go to the rankings submenu in the navigation bar and then click overclockers ranking. On this page, you can find a whole bunch of information. First off, we have the five different overclocker groups. We have the elite, extreme, enthusiast, novice and rookie. The main division is actually based on cooling. So the elite and the extreme both use extreme uh, cooling, such as liquid nitrogen. The elite are those who uh, do it uh, semi-professionally or are actually are getting paid to overclock, whereas the extreme you are, are just the people that uh, buy their own hardware and enjoy extreme overclocking. The enthusiast group, or the people that uh, overclock with ambient cooling, are divided in three different groups, the rookies, the novice, and the enthusiasts. The main division here is the amount of time they signed up at HWBot. The rookies only sign up for three months or less, whereas the novice uh, sign up for one year or less, and then the enthusiast sign up for one year or more. Scrolling down the page, we find the league leaders and then the league rankings. In this one table, you can compare yourself to any overclocker in the world. So no matter whether you're, you're an elite or a rookie, you can find everyone in this one table. However, if you just want to find your own uh, ranking or your own uh, your own league just click on any of the buttons so for example i click on the novice ranking button here and i can find all the novice overclockers if i'm a novice overclocker and i want to see how i will be uh, how i'll perform in the enthusiast ranking i can also click the enthusiast ranking button and then it will include a table with both the enthusiast and the novice overclockers as you can see everyone has a certain amount of points and to to figure out what the points are we have to go back to our own profile so I'll just go up and look at my own profile. On this profile, we can find a tab called points. If we click that, we can find an overview of all the benchmark scores that generate points uh, for our league standings. So we have a tab here called global points and we have a tab called hardware points. And these are the two main tabs that you need for, uh, for figuring out how much points and which benchmark results are generating po points for your account. So on the hardware points, we can see that I have 20 scores that are generating points for the league total. Uh, my best score is actually generating 49.6 points, which is, uh, which is quite nice. On the global points that we see the same, but there is only 15 scores that generate points. That is, uh, that is how the algorithm works, so don't worry if you only see 15 here. If we go back up, we can see in our, in our profile overview that I'm currently 106th out of 41,000 members worldwide and 45th in the Elite League. On the right hand side, I can see exactly how many league points I have. So if I go back to the, the elite league by clicking on the, on the league here, I can see my position within, within the elite league here. If we go back to the, to the overview, I can also scroll down like this. So I have to go to position 106, which is pretty far down the rankings to find myself right here. I'm actually ranked below the number one novice, which is interesting. Anyway, I hope that you now understand how the HWOT leagues works and good luck!